Well, there are worse places to start a video. I'm sitting here on the edge of the Tennessee River. I'm not too far from my house and it is a beautiful day. Now, I want to take this opportunity to show you guys the changes I've made to the Super Pacific Camper. Um, I've spent some time this weekend working in the build out and obviously we attached one of my old awnings while we uh, figure out the next awning solution. And yeah, I just want to kind of give you guys a few thoughts and show you around uh, what we've done so far. So stick around and let's check it out. So let's start here with our shade. This is a CVT awning. Uh, my dad and I bought a few of these over the years when they go on sale at our local CVT store. So don't have a whole lot in this one, but um, yeah, we've had this one sitting in the garage. My dad's used it, I've used it. And uh, when I was down in Birmingham this weekend doing the build out on the interior, I saw we still had one sitting in his garage. So until we figure out a 270 solution, I went ahead and stole this one. It's not fancy, it doesn't have any zip on walls or anything, but if you just need some shade or to get out of the rain, it's perfect. So next up are these boxes. So these boxes are something my dad and I built this weekend. Um, there's a few different components to this, a few different materials we used. The first material is what you see on top and actually what the structure is made out of, and that is a PVC foam board. It's a really neat material, not super heavy, um, but you can use PVC glue, like what you would use in plumbing, to weld it together. Uh, and it is super strong. In fact, we took two scrap pieces, put them together, let them cure, and we're able to stand on that 90 degree corner without them failing. So really good, strong material. Uh, we use three quarter inch thick to build the entire structure on both sides. And then we covered it in a different material. This white material is called ACM. And it is basically a composite material with aluminum on both sides. And it gives it a nice, sleek, smooth, scratch resistant surface on the outside. And that's just glued or bonded to the uh, PVC foam. And then we use some, um, some aluminum on the edges just to help clean up and make it look a little better. These two boxes are around 60 pounds or so uh, for both of them combined. So not super heavy, but very, very strong with plenty of storage inside. So my previous box had a hinged lid, but it was a bit of a problem if I ever had stuff inside, it could get in the way. So this box is a removable lid. And this is where I store all of my bulky items, things like my uh, oven, my stove, extra fuel cans, additional cooking supplies, anything, even my wash pan. Uh, so anything large and bulky that um, I don't have a place for in this box goes in this box. So it's um, got plenty of room left, plenty of storage for any additional things we decide to bring with us. And it's not terribly difficult to drop it right in place. Now let's take a look at this smaller box. This is most of our kitchen stuff. So anything that we need quick access to from pots and pans, um, canister of fuel, paper towels, thermocell, jet boil, uh, knives, lighters, um, even the controller for our LEDs, which we'll go over here in a minute, uh, are all stored inside this. And that's because I want to be able to reach them from the tailgate. So I can stand at the tailgate, take this panel off, and get to most of the items that we need to access. It makes it faster for if we're doing uh, lunches on the trail. I don't have to go digging through boxes. Everything that I need is right here. Now, this box behind us is one large panel, and you may notice it doesn't have any holes in it yet. So this box is going to be used for um, all of our plumbing, for our water tank that has yet to go in. It's also gonna be used for a diesel heater, which we'll mount in the front, and storage for things like tools, a uh, propane bottle, things that we don't need quick access to very often will go inside this larger box. We haven't cut it into sections yet, because we just don't know yet where all it needs to be cut. So it can be opened without having little handles in it. Um, it's just a little bit more pain. Right now you'll notice there's just some sleeping bags and things stuffed in. So lots of room in there and will eventually be built out. For those wondering about this panel, this is where we hide our Goal Zero Yeti Lithium 1000 amp hour battery. 
Uh, this is what runs our fridge, charges all of our drone batteries, camera batteries, um, and it sits behind this. And the reason we have it vented is obviously the heat from it can't come out. We have storage up here, but when the inverter's running, it does produce heat and has fans. So we wanna have a place for that heat to go. It's also a way for us to get the battery in and out. We can remove this panel, pull the battery right out the front for any kind of maintenance, changing wiring, take it inside to charge it, whatever the reason. Um, it's not done yet. We're gonna route out this area so that this panel fits flush uh, and just creates a nice smooth face here. Now, you may have noticed we have LED strips running up here. We can turn those on and we have them around all the perimeter, including over the tailgate. Uh, we can change the color of these strips. So red, to keep the bugs away. Uh, I don't know why you would need green, but you know we have the option. We can run a combination of colors or just a pure white. Um, so we have a lot of options with this remote and unlike many remotes, this is not uh, infrared. It's 2.4 gigahertz and it's actually tucked inside the Super Pacific hidden away. Um, if you're feeling real fancy, you can use this dial and actually just dial in whatever color you want. So it's pretty neat. I can link it on Amazon if you'd like. Relatively inexpensive, but for us, it's just important to be able to do red, to be able to do white, and we can actually dim these as well. You can notice we're finally using our Molly panel. We have more things to add to it, but like I said before, most things are back ordered right now. But for now, use one little grab fist. I don't know exactly what they're called, but it's just a rubber, um, quick, a quick fist, that's what it's called. Quick fist to have that mounted up and out of the way, but yet quick access. So that's a basic rundown of the changes we've made, the interior build out, the lights, and um, yeah, of course, we're still absolutely loving this camper. It is beyond our wildest expectations. We've used it every weekend. My wife loves it. She's requesting us to go out more in this one than any previous setup. Um, so yeah, we're using this all the time. We love it. This interior build out just makes it even more usable. Um, if you guys have additional questions, things you want to see, please reach out. You can comment below. You can reach out to us on Instagram, whatever's easiest for you. But we're glad to answer questions, help out however we can. But um, yeah, thanks for following along. Thanks for checking out this video. And we will see you guys on the next one.